when you look at things in hindsight like this, decisions like that seem very easy. Of course, I did this and so forth. I was actually an intern at CNN Business News 100 years ago. Lou Dobbs is not an unintimidating man. And here he is saying, you know, you have this path to glory. He's promoting you, everything else. The other thing I know from TV is that people are pigeonholed immediately. That jump is often ridiculed from the production side. Oh, no. People dream of that, but how could you do it? So talk through that a little bit more. Was it that you had nothing to lose? I think it was just that, you know, I, I wanted to love what I do. And I was loving what, I mean, this is what I wrote about in the book. You must love what you do. And, you, and, and the first law of my 10 laws of enduring success is self-knowledge. You need to understand and really know yourself and know what you can do and know where your heart is and what you love to do. Because I think in order to be successful, you have to love what you do. You have to wake up with a fire in your belly and just want to go at it. That's the only way you'll be able to work really hard at it. And I had found what I was good at and what I loved doing, and that was being in the field, interviewing people, meeting people. Uh, I was developing a great Rolodex. And, you know, I just, I, I loved putting pieces together. I didn't have any interest in going on the air. I didn't even want to go on the air. I loved my position as assignment editor. I was, you know, uh, coming up with story ideas, writing the script, and then handing it off to someone on camera who would present it. But when he took me out of that role and, and put me as a producer, which was a higher position, um, it took me out of the field. And that means I was at my desk all day, I was in the control room, I was going to be in the IFB in someone else's ear just putting a show together, a one hour show, as opposed to being in the field. And I had the courage, thankfully, to say to myself, you know what, I've done this and I know this is not what I love. I know what I love. It's being in the field. It's learning new things every day and meeting new people every day and building a great Rolodex that when I have a story idea, when I have a, an issue in business, I know exactly who to call. And when he took me out of that, I knew I needed to make a change. And were you thinking at that point, one of the most famous financial journalists in the world in 10 years? Or were you <laughs> no. thinking, I don't want to get fired, I'm going to go do my job and see how it works out? You know, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that much. Um, no, I definitely did not have aspirations to become, you know, uh, a leading financial journalist. That wasn't in my plan at all. I just wanted to be happy in what I was doing. It definitely took guts in retrospect because I had a great setup. I was working at Turner Broadcasting for CNN, you know, during the Gulf War, the first Gulf War. It was exciting as heck, and I loved what I was doing. But as soon as I was taken out of the role that I loved so much and put in another role, I was upset. And I was crying. And I remember thinking to myself, this is not what I want to do. And then I thought, you know, the only thing I can do at this point for my career is to try to be on camera because I've done all of these other jobs at CNN Business News. So I've sort of hit a ceiling. And so I figured, I'm 25. What, you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll hopefully bounce back and figure it out another way. And did you ever have to bounce back along the way, or was it just an incredible rocket ride to the top? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to, I, I'm trying to be as humble as I can. The, it was the an truth, incredible <laughs> rocket ride. <laughs> Good for you. It's been an unbelievable <laughs> ride. It really has.